So next, let's talk about messages in SendBird. So there's three different types of messages. One is the user message, or we think of this as the text message. The next is the file messages. So you can send files by uh, the raw file data, or you can send them as a URL into SendBird. And then the third is admin messages. So admin messages are typically sent through the platform API from you know, uh, the backend side of things or through the SendBird dashboard. And this is great for some moderation functionality on the SendBird dashboard. Both the user messages and file messages allow for custom data in the message object. So if you want to mark it um, for any kind of reason, such as rendering or adding just additional data onto your message, you can add it there. There's also a meta array field or the custom type properties to help you implement uh, special features for messaging, such as threaded messages, URL previews, message filtering options, and what have you. Sunbur also offers an auto thumbnail option. So you can do this for both videos and photos. So when you're in the application and the sender sends a message, it's making an SDK call and it goes through the WebSocket. So that means the message can be sent in real time. And uh, the other client applications that are listening for messages also receive messages uh, through the WebSocket in real time as well. So it's happening very fast. Other things like creating a channel, inviting other users into a chat also go through this WebSocket. To receive messages, of course, they go through the WebSocket as well, and you'll receive a callback. So on iOS, it's just did receive message. Uh, on Android and JavaScript, it's on message received. Um, and the nice thing about this is if you're using the UI kit, all of this stuff happens under the hood. So you just implement the channel that you want to render, um, and all of this stuff is taken care of for you. Um, additionally, when the user is not connected to SendBird, and they're, they're considered to be offline. So when they're offline, if you have it set up through the SendBird dashboard where you've uploaded uh, push notification credentials for APNS or FCM or even Huawei mobile services, then you can receive push notifications to the device. 